I'll just keep doing these little updates. It's going to be a long day uh, for those who are just joining the live stream for the first time. Uh, we came very, very early. We started, well, there's people here 24 hours a day now, but we now have a 13 person lock on. Uh, I think we started that just before three o'clock. So 13 very brave people who will now be going to be in these lock-ons, which are amazing tubes that have been built, uh, really particularly strong tubes, and uh, should be a good possibly 17 hours for these people to endure, because they'll endure for as long as it takes for the protester removal team to come. <coughs> And then for as long as it takes for that removal team to saw through these particularly well-built pipes. People sleeping in the towers. Lots more pallets turned up. There's just one police van for now. I expect they're waiting for more. But the police aren't going to act in a hurry. They've got to wait because there's not much they can do. You know, it's not like they can remove these people. It has to be done by a professional team with specialist equipment. Can you hear bird song as the sun's coming up? Hi Trevor, I can manage to see things. There's no glare today. What's special about today is that um, you know, it takes a lot of guts to do a lock-on and quite often it's the people who are activists and have been activists for quite a while who initiate or lead on these things but today it's 13 local people I think only two of whom have ever done anything like this before and that sign there was made for today Three of the people on the lock on are councillors. I'm going to go quite quietly, some people are resting. Everyone okay? Yeah. Yeah, good stuff. You alright, sweetheart? Okay. You warm enough, love? I am. Yes. It's quite cold, isn't it? Yeah, it is a bit nippy. Yeah. I'll warm up soon. Yeah. Bird song's beautiful, though, isn't it? Yeah. That won't last if you start bracking. Yeah, do you know the day they started in Balkan, the day that the drill hit the ground? They stopped. The second. I was laying in my tent, it must have been about 7 30 in the morning, and the second um, it went through, you felt it in the earth. And then all the insects stopped as well. Everything. Everything just stopped. It was just astounding. And, and because it's the vibration, it's like when they drilled at Anna's Road before, a few years ago, the pink-footed geese wouldn't land, and it's a pink-footed geese area, but they, they wouldn't land because there's vibration on the ground. And when they drill, they tend to um, get things like fish death in all the local ponds, like pond number four at Leyden. They lost all their fish when they first drilled because it's, it affects their swim bladder and sheep faint. Weird. So, you know, that's when you know you've got fracking. Ooh, I'm trying hand on to shake, but I'm quite cold. And I think very tired as well. So my hands are shaking now. It's good to see some people have managed to shut their eyes and get to sleep. But he's not asleep, but he's doing a really good impersonation of a sleeping man. Nick and Miranda are asleep, which is good. Yeah, they did. Ooh, I'm cold. Are you cold? No, You're all right? I'm all good. I think it's because being when you're tired. You say, but I'm trying to hold a live stream without shaking. <laughs> Each person wrote their blackboard as well. Mm. 
to our brief party with Councillor Gina Dowling and Anne Power. Morning, Anne Power. Yeah, morning, you. <laughs> Do you ever sleep? Yes, there's, I, there's all kinds of odd times. Yeah. The middle of the day when yeah. people expect me to be there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just to keep seeing you here at all hours. Are you been here all night, Dick? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, We've really? been friends yeah, for 30 yeah. years. 30 years. So I had the honour of looking after her children. Oh, my they God. They fought like devils. <laughs> <laughs> with each other, not with me. Uh, with each other. No one would fight with you, Anne. <laughs> I think that we all know better on contact. <laughs> No, they were lovely. It's amazing to see Gina yeah, in this predicament, though, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I'm yeah. sure. <laughs> That's probably not the, the last thing I was expecting. Yeah. So I love these. We're going to have to get these boards redone because the rain's taking. Irishness. It's not 51%. Actually, Did your board hold out in the rain? It did. the lunch boxes. These are all the lunch bags for the 13 in the lock-on. Spare water. But for now it's still nice and quiet and what little sleep they'll be able to get. I think it's not so much sleep really, they just get to close their eyes and... Alright Sal. Rest a bit. I'll keep the updates quite brief really because... Clearly later on it's going to get a whole lot more messy. <laughs> I just... <laughs> Who put those there? When did they arrive? The gnomes. When did we get gnomes? Who bought gnomes? I love that there are gnomes. They're so very British. We have gnomes. You know you're at home and all is well with the world when there's gnomes. Say what? He called Simon uh, from Bolton. Oh, to yeah. Tracky. He called him a, a scruffy gnome. Oh, really? <laughs> this was retaliation. I was listening to the live stream the other day when it was all quite violent. And there was one girl shouting, That's so rude. Don't be so rude. And then someone else said, I expressed my serious discontent. I thought, oh my God, we are so British about our protest, aren't we? We remain quite polite, really. Well, you don't always. Yeah, don't oh, no, oh, you're doing better I'm than I'm starting all. to learn. Yeah, you've know. you got the hang of this. Yeah. Not to spit me, bro. <laughs> right, I'm going to cut off now. Morning, Flo. Who else is there? Hiya. It is hard work, Susie, thank you. Chris Winter, hi Chris Winter. Peter Gedhard says, hello, thank you very much and love from Devon. Uh, no, not really hashtagged this Bracken, but uh, hello from Devon. <laughs> yeah, morning truffle. Solidarity back to you. Good people, good atmosphere, yeah. very calm. Yeah. Sign works well, that locals one across the road, it's brilliant. I think it's really important that we have our councillors here doing this. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we have people watching in Alaska, Queensland, New York, yeah. 
Because of course they're up. <laughs> We've had a um, professional video team with us um, for a couple of the planning meetings for this and they're putting together a, a video, a quick short story about this particular lock-on. So we're going to put that out hopefully once they go back at the end of the day. Um, they'll edit late afternoon, early evening and we'll have that out. And then you can see how a lock-on comes together because part of the work I think that we do here is to demystify what activism is. You know, the media portrays it one way. It's a bunch of hard hippies, you know, and eco-warriors. It isn't. It's humans. It's everyday humans. Mums, dads, grandmas, grandpas, you know, aunts, uncles. There are two disabled people in these lock-ons. Grandmas. And, you know, it's just regular folks standing up for their community. And, yeah, sometimes, after they've done it a few times, they'll be the ones that they call the professional activist or the hardened activist. But everyone started just like this. Right, I'll come back and... Uh, yeah, I know, shh, protect the sleep together. I'm being very quiet. Hiya, Carly. Yeah. P and R lock on, good one. Thank you. Yeah, if you do that hashtag and pop that out on uh, oh, Twitter, I'll go over there. <laughs> Morning, Gary Lickett. He likes love pot. <clears throat> Knitting Nana's in New South Wales. Say good morning to the lock-on and thank you. <laughs>